In the Bible, we find one of the most beautiful appeal from God. It says, Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Would you like to spend this day with God? Listen to this devotional. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Cheerfulness glorifies God. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. Colossians 3, verse 17. Where there is a heart in which the light of heaven does not radiate, there is a solitude in which Christ cannot abide. By the side of every soul is an angel presence. I have been instructed that with Christ there was given to our world all the treasures of heaven. Nothing was reserved. If man does not open the door of his heart to Christ Jesus and commune with him, satanic agencies will commune with him. It is to the glory of God that cheerfulness abound. If the softening, subduing influence of the grace of Christ be present, pleasant words will always be spoken. If one makes mistakes, go to the erring one alone. Speak not words of counsel with the vim, but modulate your voice. He who occupies an influential position as God's steward should take special care not to irritate by word or act. He should speak pleasantly to every worker and reveal no irritability or sourness of disposition. Let everyone placed in a position of trust be as much more careful how he speaks and acts, as his position is greater in responsibility than the position of his fellow workers. For those connected with the work of God can please the Master by speaking kindly only. Any word spoken thoughtlessly or unadvisedly should be retracted on the spot. If the speaker forgets to do this, or if he does not regret his thoughtlessness, Someone should in the Spirit of Christ remind him of his duty to apologize, for we are to remember that as Christians professing to work in unity, we must not act like sinners whose sinful words and works, unless repented of, will condemn them. Christians are to love one another as Christ has loved them. Upon the manifestation of this love hinges the world's recognition of the truth of the gospel. It was for this that Christ prayed in the last prayer he offered. Christians must not act like unruly children, before the world, those who claim to be God's children must give evidence that they have left behind them the childish ways of their unconverted life.